How did you actually come into, this looks like a very, um, you know, distinct area. Okay. People are not really involved. And okay. how did you come into this field? Did you... You, okay, you thank you thank you very much yeah that, that is actually very it, it's it's one of those things because one of the things people ask me is that okay um you 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 studied business you studied finance so what brought you into this area so it was from a personal experience okay i came into ireland in um, 2002 and um about 10 years ago yes i experienced a total burnout so, and um, my, my burnout was as a result because by the time I was able to kind of look inward, it's something to do with when you are not happy with where you are. You know, at that stage, I couldn't really work. I have ch three children. I'm looking after them. I couldn't do the kind of work I wanted. I couldn't. It's like I had no freedom. You know, you think about something, you're thinking big, you can't. And when I was coming to Ireland, I was working in the finance industry. At the point, I was actually um, a kind of a manager in our finance house. So it was like, I looked at myself like, okay, coming from there, and then this is what is happening to me. So I didn't know all of this was going on in my mind. And one day I woke up and it's like, you know, I was in a different world. You know, it's something, it's something so unreal. I went to the GP and um, they kind of prescribed all kinds of things. And I, I found myself going in deeper, deeper, like it, it's a kind of a dark world. And I couldn't really, you know, it was unknown to me what some people, all kinds of things. And one day the GP told me, said, you're stressed. And I said, okay, when you said I'm stressed, what's the meaning of like stress? Because what I understand to be stressed is like when you're too tired or whatever. No, there is what is called a mental stress. And you know, a lot of us don't understand what it is. And people try to cover it. People are going through a lot of things, but a, a lot of people just try to cover it. And it's one of those things. I was acting brave, trying to be everything in the church, doing this and trying to be the best mother, trying to do. And then everything, I couldn't handle it again. And one doctor one day looked at me and said, look, you could be on medication, you know, all the days of your life. If you choose to start taking medication, but what I'm telling you is that you, you may be feeling something, but it's not important enough. And then I said, it's not important enough. You're telling me that I'm imagining all of these things happening to me. And he said, no, you're not imagining them. They're there. But let me tell you one thing. They're not as important as you think they are. And I went with that thought. You know, I kind of felt relieved at that stage. And that's when I became empowered. And I'm like, okay, whatever it is that is happening within me, it's not enough. It's not strong enough to knock me down. And I gained power, personal power. That was a kind of like, um, you know, when I realized that there is actually more to life than all of these things that were read, um, education and something. There is something missing. And I started to dig deep into them. I now discover what is called life coaching. Now, life coaching is like, for me, it was like eye-opening because it talks about your personal belief, your, your, your thinking, your thought process, what's going through your mind. Um, you know, a lot of people have confidence issue, but they don't even know they have confidence issue. If we talk about self-sabotaging behaviors, how you are the one that is actually bringing down yourself without knowing. You know, all of these things, I started to read about them and it was like my eyes opened. And from that day, I knew that, I, you know, I couldn't just be stopped. I couldn't get jobs. I couldn't get things. But when I started to like, you know, practice all, most of those things, it's like the job started, you know, I started changing jobs. Like sometimes I got up to three jobs at once. It was a matter of which one do I want to take? But before then, it was, I, I always thought about, okay, I will never, as a black person, um, the opportunities were not there. I'm just going to be confined to doing what I don't like. But doors started to open. Of their own. So it's not just about prayer because we pray. The African society, who at all, is religion and a lot of things is about our religion. But there is also something that we need to do differently. And it's one of those things, it's about learning what's worked with people. If, even look about personal development um, experts. You will see a lot of people that made impact in the world. They also mastered their own emotions. They mastered something about themselves. They know about themselves. So I think, again, personal development is about knowing yourself and knowing your capabilities and then leveraging all the resources God has given you to make the best out of your life. All right. What I, what I, what I, excellent. What I hear you saying is that mm -hmm. in 
every one of us, mm -hmm. we all have that hero in us. We all have that strength. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we are not, we don't reflect deep enough to know that whatever is facing us, whatever is confronting us, we can actually confront it and defeat it mm -hmm. because that strength is in us. Mm -hmm. What I also hear you saying is what Maria Carey said a long time ago, that when you feel that life is gone, when you feel that you don't have hope, look mm -hmm. at yourself and bring out a hero in you. Oh, yes, is absolutely. It, is in each and every one of us. But sometimes we are just afraid to go there. We are just afraid to question ourselves, saying, mm -hmm. can I actually do this? Why do I think this is above me? Why can't I really do this? That's what I hear you saying, right? Mm -hmm. 